Type A disease, an autosomal recessive disease. Crab A disease, also known as globoid cell leukodystrophy, is a rare and usually fatal disorder of the nervous system. While the majority of patients develop symptoms during the first six months of life, some individuals can develop symptoms later in life. Unfortunately to date, there is no cure for Crab A disease and most infants pass away before the age of two. Crab A disease is an autosomal recessive genetic condition that affects the GALC gene, also called GALC or GALC, which results in an enzyme deficiency of galactocerebrosidase. The GALC gene is located on chromosome 14. Galactocerebrosidase is needed to make myelin. Myelin is an essential material your body uses to surround and protect nerve fibers. Without this protective coating, nerves in the brain and other parts of the body will not work properly. In order to understand how Crab A disease is passed down through families, it's important to discuss the autosomal recessive inheritance pattern of this disorder. The human body is made up of billions of cells, but surprisingly only approximately 20,500 genes. Each person inherits two copies of each gene, one passed down from their mother and one passed down from their father. This makes each of us unique, even though we're still carrying traits from our parents. A single gene can account for why your brother has blonde hair and you have red hair. So when cells are created, variations can happen. A variant is any change in the DNA sequence away from what is considered normal or typical. A change that does not have medical consequences is described as benign, while disease-causing variants are called pathogenic. So how does all of this relate to Crab A disease? As mentioned, Crab A disease is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. What this means is both parents must be carriers for Crab A disease for there to be a chance of having a child with Crab A disease. A carrier is a person who has one working copy of the gene and one non-working copy of the gene. So carriers typically do not show symptoms of the disease or have medical problems associated with being a carrier. As an example, let's say our couple Joe and Mary are expecting their first child. We'll call him Wyatt. Both parents are carriers of Crab A disease. So what are the chances that Wyatt will be born with Crab A disease? As a reminder, as carriers, both mom and dad have one working copy of the GALC gene, represented here by a capital K, and one non-working disease-causing gene, represented here with a lowercase k. Therefore, Wyatt could receive one working copy from his carrier mom and one working copy from his carrier dad. In this case, Wyatt would not have crab A disease or be a carrier. Another possibility is that Wyatt could receive one working copy of the GALC gene from his mom and one non-working copy of the gene from his dad, or vice versa. In this case, Wyatt would not have Crab A disease. He would actually be considered a healthy carrier like his parents. Alternatively, in the last scenario, Wyatt could receive two non-working copies of the gene, one from each carrier parent, represented as two lowercase k's, and would be born with Crab A disease. It's important to understand that these chances or risks start over with each and every pregnancy. Therefore, one result is not indicative of a future pregnancy. Let's review. The inheritance pattern for Crab A disease results in an incident rate of one in four. This means that a child born to a couple who both carry the Crab A gene, the expected outcome for each pregnancy is a 25% chance that the child is born with two normal genes, as seen in box one. Child would be normal and not a carrier. A 50% chance that the child is born with one normal gene and one abnormal gene, as seen in box two and three the child would be a carrier without disease. A 25% chance that the child is born with two abnormal genes, as seen in box four. The child would have Crab A disease. To learn more about Crab A disease, including research, available treatments, and more, visit crabaconnect.org.